Monday, December 3rd, meeting of the Montpelier Design Review Committee. I will let members and staff introduce themselves. I'm Martha Smirsky. Liz Pritchett. Meredith Crandall, staff. Stephen Everett. Hannah Smith. Seth Mitchell. And unless anybody has anything else beforehand, do I hear a motion to approve the agenda? So moved. Your second? Second. All in favor of the agenda, raise your hand. And we'll go straight to our first application for 32 Main Street, downstreet housing and community development. Come back to your usual spot at the table. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. And introduce yourself to anyone who doesn't know you. Sure. Allison Friedkin, downstreet housing and community development. And describe your site to us. Uh, so this would be the entrance sign for the main entrance of Down Street, which is on the back side of the building. So saying main and entrance just kind of feels a little odd, but just to make sure, sure folks are oriented. So the, the residential, the accessible, all that, all that entrance is on the, on the parking lot side. It's initially a shared entrance with Opachon, and then there's a second door leading into the residential or a second door, or I guess a third door going, you know, further into Obashan. So this is on the outside of the building. Um, they don't have the photos. No, I don't think Audra put in the pregnant photo. Okay. I can run downstairs real quick and get them if you want them. Or if folks, if you recall, I mean, the there's the door into Obashan, so on the back side, and then this is immediately to the left of that, you know, fixed to the brick, and we're requesting a three by three um, sign that looks, well, kind of just like that, except we're not quite those colors, <laughs> but that's okay, just because the coloring so is, is it, off a little bit. Is it bit. more like... Yeah, it's actually even you? more colorful. Um, this is a redder, a little redder, and then our dots are our standard. I can show you on our business card what... It's the same if you go to any of our properties throughout the, the downtown. So um, here's a big, so we'll try to get the okay. coloring of, yeah. you know, the dots. But okay. um, you just give me one and I'll attach it. Sure. Mm -hmm. But again, uh, you know, what we just put up at. And then the, back, the background for the lettering is the, that's an accurate color there. Uh, or is it closer to the housing community development? Right no, it's not there? that. It's not. Yeah, it's, not it's, a, it's a. Is it more of a reddish brown? Yeah. Like a yeah. Brick, like a brick, kind of. Um, you know, let me pull up on my phone. So that makes this look more green. Almost. Let me. Let me just pull oh, up a picture. It's just my eyes and comparing it with the other <laughs> colors. <laughs> That this accesses the elevator tower as well. Correct. So inside our elevator and stairs. Correct. Okay. Are there any other signs on the, on the back side that are close to yours? No, there'll be no other signs. Um, the door, Obashan's, I presume, and that's part of what Audra calculated uh, for, you know, total signage. We presume that on the door, on the glass part, they'll do like they do on all their other doors, which is, you know, they have lettering that says Obishan's, um, I can't remember what else, their doors. But yeah, but that's on the inside of, the, of, you just mean for the look, whether, what it... It's on the glass, like on the outside. to versus yeah, area. Yeah, I mean, just how that... Yeah. yeah, how they go together. And that's part of the reason why we need a, you know, a fairly prominent sign, be good sign, because somebody who comes around, I mean, obviously the first thing you look at is a door and it's going to say, you know, Obishans, and then so that's why we, you know, felt like we needed a, a you know, a good size sign next to it and with the, especially with the arrow entrance, because it's not completely obvious because they have to go in that first door and then in a second door to access the apartments. So there's a image that has, has the sign. Let me go down and and do that while you're discussing because there were images of all the different sides of the building and I think Audra misunderstood when I was like, well, we don't need all of these images for the sign calculation thing for the packet. 
And then I think she just didn't pull that image that showed exactly where it was going. Okay. So you Thanks. can be like. Well, do you have any signs on the front of the building? Because there are a couple of stairways on the front, yeah. correct? Um, there is just one stair that's for us. Um, it's that. It's just a, a single door, um, and I'm trying to think what we discussed. Not a sign. There might be, you know, lettering on the a glass again, you but could not. Do this on the inside of the glass. You don't need it. Right. I know if you do on the inside. Right. I, Found out that interesting little. <laughs> I went next door to um, Capital Copy, and I'm like, "Excuse me, can I ask you a really strange question? That lettering, because it was like way up high in their store. I'm like, that lettering is it on the inside or the outside? So uh, I know she's grabbing the, um, but here is the original, or here's a. Um, I mean, I'll just pass it around, and folks can. Oops. I'll go back. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a better representation of the, color. of the colors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. other than Abishan's yeah. and, and uh, Down Street, who else is in that building? Anybody? Or no. Is it just... No, we're the second and third floor. They have the first floor, and then we have the second and third. And then there's nothing above that? Or Correct. There's no fourth floor. Yeah. <laughs> there's only three, three floors. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope not. <laughs> have you thought about putting the lettering on the door so that it's clear to in that same door? Um, we asked Obishan what their intention was, and again, uh, hopefully Meredith will bring back, their intention was to do their double door, just, they have, so they have other double, they have the other double doors, and then the double doors in the front, and you know, they wanted a consistency, and so basically, they're using up the door. The whole space. You don't have enough room. Yeah. Unless you... We'd be down, way down here at the bottom, or something like that. And, uh, and one quick question: yeah, I noticed that the colors on your representation of the phone photo are, yeah. are more of a reddish brown, which is a nice color. Is there a black outline around the perimeter? First, in my haste, I just shut it. it to be, you know, let me. It'll, it appears to be yeah. one here, mm -hmm. but I believe one. I believe there is. Let me um, see if it shows up on the picture. And I'm also again thinking about what's the, because the in color, all the other because the background color is close to the brick. It would be nice to have the black outline just to separate that from the brick, so it doesn't sort of melt right. into the brick mm -hmm. and dis uh, disappear into the brick. Overlooked with without these things. Right. Mm -hmm. I believe that there is a fine black line. So these signs, um, the sign itself is a, um, uh, a pr uh, like a plywood with a very thin aluminum. That's what they actually do the printing on. And I believe on that it gets this little black, you know, edge all the way around. More as a, um, as that's how it's sealed mm -hmm. than a than a, a, than a real boundary. It's almost like a band around the, the, the band, you know? Yeah. The sign is a sandwich of aluminum and plywood, so the black is almost like a band that goes around it to protect the edges from the I weather. I think so, I think so. Which is a really good idea. <laughs> so this is a lovely picture. Yeah, <laughs> right. and our copier uh, still is printing dark. Okay, so we've, it's actually clear if you hold it further away. Yeah, um, <laughs> <it's just laughs> I think. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> so you've got the you've got the double door, Obershawn's double door right here, and then the, this blue is indicating where our sign, you know, would go, and um, the rest is solid brick. Forget so where, that. Where is your door? The double door is this right here, this big double door. So that's, that's the entrance for both Abishan and... Yes, you yes. first go through this so door, the and then, then once you step in, mm -hmm. if you were to turn left, there's a second door that's our our entry door, and it's controlled, and straight ahead is another door that takes you into right. Abishan. So. Yeah, it looks like there's a door that's been, that's been filled in, I think. Right? Yeah, so right, so everything past the double door, the uh -huh. Obishan, and this is a new door, everything past that will be solid brick. Uh, I take that back, there's a window. It's not there now. So, smaller version of this large piece of plywood, there will uh -huh. be a window here, but yeah, that gets filled in, that gets filled in. And you said Abishan's is putting their sign on the glass? Yeah, did you happen to grab her whole packet or just this one? I right? actually grabbed the whole of the original in case you need it, but yeah, yeah I think it'll just um, you see the... Um, so yeah, somebody, yeah. Sorry. 
This one, it doesn't show wonderful, but so in this one, this is their entrance, you know, the back parking lot, the, the yeah. other side of yeah. the bomb pal. So here's an example of their double door. And then this little orange is like their decal that says Obershawn. And then up above they have their own. So like I said, the, all their doors, they already have a, um, like a know, pattern. A pattern, yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a way that they do it. That's on that one. And then also, and there isn't a good picture of it, but the, um, their their front double you know that are mm -hmm. deep in here mm -hmm. and also on here so so is that just out of curiosity was yeah. that some sort of agreement that you came to because it, it, I mean it sounds like a shared vestibule but it's going to have Abishan's logo and graphic on it mm -hmm. is that by hearing that right well it's not really shared in that it's theirs <laughs> um, you have to enter through their yes. doors in order to get but it. I mean they own it now you you know get deep into the weeds of like what parts of the buildings you know the different entities own they do so maintain it's not considered common and no I believe that they still maintain control of that of that entrance Interesting. So, I mean they've been wonderful to work with I don't want to in any way you know and and we were comfortable with um, you know I this came about I talked to our property management staff initially I showed them the you know an example without the word entrance and the arrow and you know and they said looks great but just if you could put that in there and make it you know super clear after that they they felt that everybody would be you know fine the with it. The sign the arrow is pretty clear and once you go mm -hmm. in you'll have a sign probably on the elevator and then the stairs going up. Well again so. when you when you first step into the the vestibule again their double doors right in front of you again I'm sure they'll have them all logoed mm -hmm. out and then our door will do vinyl on there that'll say you know entrance yep. to French block apartments and and there's a um, you know your keypad and all that over there so I think once they get through that first door they won't be too confused yeah fingers crossed it, but it, yeah it is a little confusing though yeah. I mean, you would think that it, it would be considered common yeah and that it would be uh, well they're open seven days a week, seven to seven, and yeah. so, you know, it's really there. We really tried not to, you know, step on any on any toes there. They're running a, you know, a business, and sure. I guess having their door labeled is, you know, pretty important and clear to them. I guess where I was going with that was, you know, if, if it were common, then it would make sense to kind of have these stacking signs mm -hmm. that would, you know, all kind of point you to the vestibule and right. be yeah. cleaner, you know. To consider the details. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes work with what you got, right? Yeah. So. <laughs> so. I have a feeling it'll be pretty clear because everybody who lives there and will obviously know where they're going, and anybody who's invited those they were above Abishan, mm -hmm. go around back. Yeah, go through the Abishan doors. Yeah. 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 That's our hope, and and obviously if if you know we're into it a couple of months and we're getting a lot of feedback. I know Obishan would be, you know, open to having a conversation if we really were getting a lot of feedback and, you know, it wasn't clear, people were confused. I mean, people go wandering through the store that aren't, so they don't want that either. So, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, I, I think if there, you know, needed to be a revisit, it's not like they've said, oh my gosh, you know, forget it or whatever. But I think as a first attempt, this seemed like this would be, made everybody happy. Yeah. No, I, I get it. It's just a little strange. It'd be nice to have, see French block, you know, across the double doors and then have these signs I, stacked on the side. And, I would have loved to have it. <laughs> <laughs> so is your sign lit at all, or is it just on the building? Uh, it is not lit. No, it is not lit. Just on the building. Are the units getting filled up? They are. I mean, we haven't signed 
any leases yet. We mm -hmm. will we'll sign leases after the first of the year, but we certainly have quite a few people that are interested. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, property management's chomping at the bit to get in there. Uh -huh. So, yeah. When's your open house? January 3rd. You're all invited. You'll Good. be, no, you'll probably be getting a, an email just even this evening. I just left the office and they were frantically sending out those out. So, yeah, January 3rd. We're really, really looking forward to be able to finally show it off because, as you all know, people have been wondering about this for a long time. Yeah. So, you mentioned a door on the front side of the building. Main Street side is that just for administrative offices or is that also up to the apartments um, it's up to the apartments there's actually no offices okay. in this building it's it's all the scratch footage is used right um, used for apartments and so yep that's a um, uh, another entrance um, resident um, with you know their own access or there will also be a keypad there and somebody could get you know buzzed in but it's you know straight up s steep stairs so mm -hmm. we don't expect a whole lot of whole lot of foot traffic but we it was available to us so I mean for folks who are you know able to and want to go out that way that's great you know did you keep the atriums yes yeah absolutely wonderful. yeah yeah they're gonna be they're gonna be gorgeous I have actually never been in the building when they haven't been boarded up because they've always been and until they're you know done so I can only imagine the light that's gonna come flooding through there there's um I think five um, uh, light wells, so skylights, mm -hmm. and but then the light comes all the way down through the two floors. That's what oh, wow. that's what Stephen's referring mm -hmm. to, and there, mm -hmm. it's really beautiful. So you guys are going to be, <laughs> we'll be just away. shocked at the befores and afters. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, <laughs> I saw an old building that was restored in Virginia that had those, and what they did was they, they had plants and um, they pulleys, oh. so they could raise them, lower them to maintain them. Nice. And so you had this atrium with the sun and the light coming down through with these ferns. Just <laughs> absolutely beautiful. That sounds beautiful. Yeah, they're not uncommon. My understanding, well, Liz can speak to this. My understanding is the feature is not uncommon in other parts of the country, but certainly uncommon, you know, here in Vermont, which was one of the reasons that we were yeah. um, strongly encouraged, as in told to, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> keep yeah. them. But yeah. The housing Vermont building, they're still in it. Street? They are not, but that had it, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Quite a few from my memory. Similar. Does anybody have any other questions, comments, suggestions? If not, I'll run down through the criteria, which you're probably familiar with by now. <laughs> Number one, design review standards, preservation and reconstruction of the appropriate historic style of the proposed projects in the historic district that involves an historic structure and acceptable. Harmony of exterior design of the properties in the district acceptable. Compatibility of proposed exterior materials acceptable. Compatibility of proposed landscaping not in this application. Prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities. Is there any lighting for the site? No, there is not. No. There's probably a light out back anyway. There's probably enough ambient to see it. I think in the parking, you know, in the in the parking area, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. So again, not proposed. Conformance. I'm sorry. Recognition of and respect respect for view quarters and significant vistas, including gateway views of the city and state house. Uh, this is probably not a gateway view in the back of the building. Mm -hmm. It's actually got a pretty awesome view of the dome. If you turn around <laughs> well, and look the around. other way. <laughs> Conformance with cityscape placement and design recommendations, acceptable. Compatibility with subject property and adjacent properties, acceptable. Shall not obscure significant architectural details, acceptable. Consistency and uniformity of multiple signs, not applicable. Illumination, not applicable. Pennants and banners, not applicable. Individual letters affixed, painted, or engraved directly on the building or structure are encouraged. The sign and its location is acceptable. And then I just did a clarification because it was included as part of the original application, but you clarified it. Uh, and just so the application is clarified, I indicate that, a sign, that the sign has a black perimeter band to protect the aluminum plywood materials used in its construction. And also, you clarified with your photo 
that the actual background color on the top and bottom of the sign is a reddish brown, which is compatible with the red color of the building. All in favor of the application, raise your hand. And I'll get you to sign this in your usual spot. <laughs> Administrative approval? Yep. Go back to our office and Audra will issue the permit. Wonderful. Thank you all very much. And Thank again, you. January 3rd. Yes. Hope to see you all there. Great. Has anyone had a chance to look at the minutes? So, just a note. I know we looked at the October 30th minutes last time, and I just made that comment. Wait, I thought I fixed that. Audra had provided the wrong a draft of the minutes, which is the minutes I approved. So I've made the changes we discussed last time for the October 30th minutes, plus, and then created a red line showing the changes I was supposed to have made, <laughs> but you guys didn't get to see. So you can go through and just look at the red lines when you get to the October 30th minutes. Um, <coughs> That was not, I mean, way more changes than we actually discussed last time to clarify things and fix some errors. I don't have the 15th or the 19th. I didn't either. Uh, and we still don't have enough people for the 30th because Eric's not here. You're right. We don't have enough for the 30th anyway. Uh, Audra's off her game today. Um, I assume she's given you guys those minutes, but just not me. So I printed them out for myself. But. Not extra speed. So maybe we just do those in the next meeting. That sounds good. Okay. Eric will be here, and then the three of us can actually pass that. Sorry, I wasn't here to see your packets get printed. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Anybody else have anything to offer? It makes things very short. It does. Yes. Especially compared to the last few. Yeah. No, I missed all the fun, I guess. Oh, wait, I do have copies of the 19th. I did bring those. Oh, okay. I did extras of those. So if you want to do the 19th. Sure. Yeah. Three, four. <laughs> yeah, sorry. But I'm hoping to get dinner before the DRB. <laughs> <laughs> you still might. Thank you.
<laughs> Is it a long meeting? Okay. Is it six o'clock? <laughs> October 30th minutes approved? Well, that's what I was saying. They, they were approved, but the problem was that the draft that you all reviewed was the draft that we originally got from the recording secretary, not the one that I had made a whole bunch of edits to, which is why when Seth was like, oh, commented on something, I was like, I thought I changed that. Um, so that's why I brought them back today to, to make sure they were actually accurate. We have to reapprove them. Re okay. Okay. Um, so one step backwards then. Yes. yes. Okay. One step back, sort of two steps forward, because now they actually are the right set of minutes. Okay. <laughs> Do I hear a motion to approve the November the 19th? I make a motion to approve the minutes from November 19th. So your second? Second. All in favor of approving the minutes for November 19th, raise your hand. So the four of us here. Awesome. So we'll wait for Eric to come back for the final approval on the 30th and then we will soon get the 15th. The 30th and the 15th, yes. Mm -hmm. Then it's on the next meeting. Sorry about that. Uh, we wouldn't, well, we need Eric, Seth, and Ben for those anyway. For the 15th. Because they're going to be All right. Yes. Um, so we have a quorum for either of those. And do I hear a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. <laughs> I'll second. <laughs> All in favor, raise your hand on your way out the door. <laughs>